part of the problem of the United States is that we are now competing with some people who have some considerable genetic advantages over us. They're called Chinese. I don't know why the Chinese mired in a Malthusian trap and under an idiotic system of government got a genetic mix that was so good on capitalism at capitalism when it was unleashed? That's a very interesting question. But some kind of selective breeding happened over there. I see my friends adopt these Chinese girls who are utterly discarded from the remote hinterlands. And one, one, one of my granddaughters. Well, I've now seen a sample that's so great, I, I say it. I'm not like this idiot professor at Stanford who, you know, six sigmas of luck. There's a reason why these girls are working out so well. In many cases, way better than the people who had their own children. And there is, we are starting to have a very major competition with a group of people who, on average, have some genetic advantage over us. I happen to like it. If the Chinese displace the mongers, some of whom are here tonight, my attitude is bon voyage. But it happens over and over in this country. When my grandfather came at the end of the 19th century, 13 years old with a nine-year-old brother by themselves, uh, illiterate, impoverished. Uh, I'm sure the, the people in the U.S. despaired that these uh, Sicilians were coming into the country and it was going to be the downfall of, of the place. Of course, maybe it was. But they did survive, and they did bring their parents and their younger siblings o o o over. And so each generation uh, seems to have absolute despair at the people coming in. But they save us. I call this the vampire economy, that the U.S. lives on the fresh blood of immigrants. And each group gets replaced by another group. But I think we could safely take in a whole lot of Sicilians and we'd get about the standard number of Tombrellos. But if we try that with the Chinese, we'll get way above a standard number. Of course. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> the Sicilian, now that, Sicilian blood is run thin. We need to be replaced by yeah. something better. No, I don't say it isn't a tough blood. I just say that I don't think we'd get more physicists out of Sicily than we. <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me of one of my favorite true stories. When Shockley was at his craziest, why he tried to recruit all these nobles laureates to donate their sperm so that the next generation could have the advantage of all this selective breeding. And he came to, I think it was Muller, a famous Nobel laureate, and Muller said to him, well, he says, he says, you're barking up the wrong tree. He says, what my sperm has given America is two guitar players. Says, if you want to have Nobel laureates, you better look among the immigrant illiterate tailors.